That mix of blending creativity and those introverted tendencies goes back exactly like you said, back to Daniel's question. And here's the thing, yes, I actually agree with you that introverts do have a tendency to be very creative. There's benefits also, it doesn't mean that the extroverts are not creative, but there's a different kind of creativity. And this going back to an earlier question as well, ties to where they don't necessarily view themselves as creative all of the time. They think of creativeness in terms of watercolors and other art kinds of things. And often when I'm talking with introverts, they're like, I'm not actually very creative. And I'm looking at them in stunned disbelief because I'm seeing just how creative they are. So my definition of creativity to them is creating something that didn't exist or didn't exist in this way before. And if you go with that definition of creativity, how does that change your perspective on just how creative you are? So I think that those two things can really tie in together, that when they actually are able to recognize just how creative they are, it also gives them a little bit more confidence in some situations to be able to share some of the maybe half-baked ideas and say, look, I'm not really done thinking through this, so you know these are the questions I want you to answer. Because what they don't want is a whole bunch of information coming back at them about blah, 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 these are the ideas I have for you. No, no. Let me structure these questions for you. You answer the question as asked, and then I'll iterate and I'll go to that next thing. So as an introvert, setting some of those boundaries, recognizing their own creativity, and really keeping that in a tight bubble for themselves, they can maintain their own energy level and let their creative flag fly. So that would be my suggestion and my hope. And let me know if that resonates with you.